Hello my dear students. Welcome back to my channel. In this lecture we are going to discuss Bronsted Lowry theory of acids and bases. In 1923, the Danish chemist Bronsted and the English chemist Lowry independently presented their theories of acids and bases that are based on proton transfer. According to this concept, an acid is a substance that can donate H positive ion to another substance. On the other hand, a base is a substance that can accept H positive ion from another substance. It can also be defined as an acid that donates a proton, while a base is a substance that accepts a proton. But wait, what exactly is a proton? An atom of hydrogen contains one proton, one electron. When hydrogen loses an electron to become H plus ion, only a proton remains. So H plus ion is also known as proton. Therefore, in simpler terms, a proton is a hydrogen ion without its electron. Let me explain this concept with an example. When HCl dissolves in water, hydrochloric acid acts as an acid and water as a base. It is a reversible reaction. In the forward reaction, HCl is an acid because it donates a proton and converts into chloride ion. Whereas, H2O is a base as it accepts a proton converting into hydronium ion. In the reverse reaction, chloride ion is a base, as it can accept a proton, from acid, known as conjugate base of acid. Hydronium ion is called conjugate acid of base, because, now it can donate a proton. It means every acid produces, conjugate base, and every base produces, conjugate acid. What is meant by conjugate? Conjugate refers to compounds, formed by joining two or more chemical compounds. According to the bronsted lowry concept, a substance can act as an acid only, when another substance simultaneously behaves as a base. Did you know my dear students what are amphoteric compounds? They are compounds that can act as both acids and bases. For example, when acetic acid reacts with water, acetic acid donates a proton to water, resulting in the formation of the acetate ion and hydronium ion. In this reaction acetic acid donates a proton, known as acid while water accepts a proton, known as base. Let's move on to the reaction of ammonia with water. In this reaction, ammonia accepts a proton from water, leading to the formation of the ammonium ion and hydroxide ion. Ammonia acts as base because it can accept proton, while water donates proton, and acts as an acid. Water acts as an amphoteric compound in both reactions. It means that water can act as both an acid, and a base depending on the circumstances so known as amphoteric compound, according to bronsted lowry concept. Despite its significance, bronsted lowry theory does have its limitations. It has been observed that, there are certain substances, which behave as acids, however, they do not have the ability to donate proton. For example, sulfur dioxide behaves as an acid, but it cannot donate a proton. Similarly, calcium oxide behaves as a base, but it cannot accept a proton. These observations prove limitations of bronsted lowry concept of acids and bases. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this.